Okay. Hello and welcome to an episode of The Essential Oil Show. I'm Deborah Sophia Magdalene and today I'm delighted to have as my guest Tonya, Tonya Hunting Wolf. Tonya, welcome. Hello everyone and thank you uh, for inviting me to come, come on your um, show. Oh, you're welcome. Now, we met in Amsterdam at a doTERRA convention uh, a couple of years ago, and I was very inspired by your journey of returning to health. And I've invited you on the show today because I just think that the way that you've gone about your self-healing can be an inspiration to so many people because so many people have got autoimmune diseases now. So before we do that, Tony, can you just sort of introduce yourself, your background and where you were before you started on your journey to healing? Yes, of course. So, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Tonya. I'm, uh, uh, I, <laughs> I'm uh, in the UK since 2005. Uh, I'm Cherokee German and um, I have had or I have uh, fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue and uh, diabetes and other things uh, going, going on. Um, I um, was almost in a wheelchair or yeah, mostly in the wheelchair, couldn't hardly move. Uh, I was in pain constantly. Uh, I couldn't sleep. Uh, I couldn't stay awake. Um, so I my life was uh, actually just passing by and uh, my husband has had to help me with absolutely everything including washing dressing everything and uh, and i was not in a very good space at that time and um i knew about the terror already um since a long time um and then decided uh, one day to just stop all my all my medications overnight and um well, I have to say I will not recommend that to uh, to everybody to to do, to do it like I have done, to stop it overnight, uh, because that was tough. But I I just did it, and um, I found I found Sophie. Um, Sophie is my my uh, upline, um, because I was asking the universe, come on, bring me somebody who's doing the terror in the UK, and then Sophie came and. Um, send a message on Facebook and I said, yeah, that's it. And I'm uh, going on, on the essential oils now. Well, let me just ask you about this, Tanya. You're, you're uh, from a, pharma uh, a pharmacist background, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so um, deciding to stop your medications just like that overnight, why did you do it that way? Well, uh, because, uh, because I'm a pharmacist um, and I know about the side effects and I also know about um, the medications are only... Um, they are not the national products anymore. So they used to do, years ago, they used to do the medications in with plant-based uh, materials, which they are not doing now. So they are creating the medications in a lab and any synthetics uh, is nothing what we can take in your body. So it, it gives you too much side effects and makes your condition actually even worse. And so that's why I decided, no, I'm not having that anymore. And I'm going to um, to use the essential oils. And, and the other thing that you said was that you don't recommend that other people do that. So, what do you recommend people do? Um, I recommend um, people doing if they are on certain medications like steroids and um, and, and um, statins or something like that, to use the oils additionally uh, to their medications, and then very, very, very slowly. Uh, com come off but but I'm saying this um, it's got to be done very very carefully because if if somebody is taking medication for a long time um, the body has to adjust to the different things coming in and you don't want the body to completely crash because the, what I did I did it in one overnight I stopped all medications and um, that was well it was for me um, okay uh, but it might not uh, be a good idea for other people to do that overnight. So I would say do it slowly but surely, come off the certain things and always well, be in touch with, uh, with your doctor or health practitioner as well. Yeah, so to do it with your doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Slowly. yeah. yeah. And, um, but yeah, I did it and it was tough. It was really tough uh, to, 
uh, come off. Uh, I was at uh, one point at the, at the moment where I could uh, bang my head against the wall because it was very tough to come off overnight. And um, yeah, so, um, but I've done it. Well done. So can you talk us through the protocol that you used? You know, what, what was the first thing that you did? Okay, the first thing, so I started uh, actually with the family uh, home essential kit. Uh, so that was, uh, it's, it's not available anymore. That is that kit with the supplements and, and the 10 oils and um, all the other uh, bits, which right now we can't get this, uh, this kit anymore. But so I started, first of all, supplements, um, the Lifelong Vitality Pack. Um, and uh, so two in the morning of each and two at night at each, uh, on each. But uh, also I used for the pain management, um, alongside of it, Aroma Touch, Deep Blue, um, fr uh, Frankincense, also Kobaiba now, um, and On Guard. So I used them, I used the normal supplements first, uh, brought them in my system, but alongside I used several oils for the pain management and also for the emotional uh, management. But Deep Blue and Aroma Touch, Frankincense, Coba Iba were the most first. And how did you use them? Where the um, Coba Iba, um, one drop uh, under your tongue in the morning and at night. Yeah. Um, the Deep Blue and the Aroma Touch right there on my ankles, bones, uh, wherever I was in pain, shoulder, neck, um, use them. Um, and also wherever I was in pain, I put, put them on, rub them in, and also a uh, smell, because I, I, I know smell is very, very important uh, to, to do when you use the oils, uh, because when you smell something, it goes directly into the brain, through the limbic system, and um, is more powerful than the um, give it uh, to, to the oils as well. And of course, diffusing and um, topically, internally, and um, uh, to, uh, through diffusion as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so, so therefore, you're using these supplements, um, which are the Lifelong Vitality Pack. So these are actually the number one best-selling product in doTERRA, aren't they? comes yeah. in, in a pack and they actually offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on these. Is yeah. it feel more energy and less pain in 30 days, you can have a full refund. Yeah. What was your experience of using these, Tanya? Well, uh, first of all, I want to say I highly, highly, highly recommend anybody who wants to change their, their uh, well-being or their situation should actually start with those supplements because that gives you the foundation to the body, um, every um, minerals and nutrition and uh, enzymes and uh, vitamins, what the body needs, what our organs need uh, to work properly again. It helps the whole body with inflammation response, with nervous system, with everything um, should go on those supplements um, when, when you want to change your lifestyle. Um, and uh, I use the, those supplements, as I said, two in the morning of each, two at night. Um, and um, also TerraZyme, you just show them. Um, TerraZyme, yeah. This is a digestive enzyme complex. And what a lot of people don't know is when you're taking supplements, it's really critical to take them with a digestive enzyme, isn't it? Absolutely. This helps the body to absorb more nutrients from the, uh, from the supplements, but also for you to... Um, break down the food so it's easier to digest. Exactly, and uh, and it's also uh, the terrazyme definitely, uh, but also what is very very important is I do every uh, every about three or four months um, a cleanse and restore um, program which uh, DoTerra has as well, and that includes then uh, PB assist, which are the um, the en enzymes, of course, PB assist, uh, GX assist for the cleansing of the gut. Um, you've got the terrazyme. Um, of course, lemon oil. Uh, lemon oil is uh, very, very important at any times 
to uh, drink in your water one or two drops in a in a glass of um, water to drink to help the the stomach and the gut cleanse and get the toxins out um, and also to make the stomach alkaline um, to to help your gut with this. Yeah, so these are the supplements that, to, that Tonya's talking about. Now, the GX Assist is a candida killer, and this gets rid of the bad stuff that's in the digestive system, but it doesn't kill the good stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's very, very good. And what a lot of people don't realize is that candida is at the root cause of over 80 different illnesses, a lot of the autoimmune diseases. I used to have it chronically, so I know quite a lot about it. Um, so the, can, uh, the GX assist, you take this for 10 days and then you stop and then you take the PB assist. Yeah, And absolutely. the other thing about probiotics is that these are in a patented delivery system because a lot of probiotics are actually breaking down in the stomach acid. Yeah. So they're not getting to where is required, which is in the gut. And they say, absolutely. if you can heal the gut, you can heal the body. Absolutely. And, uh, and today we say, a lot of people have maybe heard that, uh, our gut is the second brain. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if we don't clear that and make sure that we take care of our gut health, um, then it will be very difficult to uh, address other other things as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing I just want to mention about the probiotics, whilst we're talking about those, is that a lot of people don't realise that if they take antibiotics, it wipes out all the good stuff as well as the bad stuff in the digestive um, in the gut. So taking a course of probiotics after antibiotics is absolutely critical to repopulate the gut with the good flora. Exactly. And, and I, uh, I also take the PB assist not just when I do the cleanse and restore. I take them also um, daily. Yeah. Okay, the same as so I take the supplements daily, uh, Terrazyme, PB assist, um, Sendocrine, um, either as the oil or as... Uh, the um, supplements uh, e either way because this is the beauty of uh, doTERRA as well you can choose so so sandocrine for example is in um, supplement form but also in oil form so the sandocrine if I take the oil I can also take it internally in a glass of water or put it on my liver um, just one or two drops on my liver and um, help my liver or I take the soft gels, uh, which is then easier for, for people to take. Depends on your, however you feel. Some people mm -hmm. may not like the taste of sandocrine. Um, that's why it's then easier to take that in the capsule. Yeah, so here's the products that Tanya's talking about. Now, at the moment, we can't get the Zendocrine Detoxification Complex because it's being um, reconfigured to include botanicals. So this isn't available at the moment. Uh, so the ones that you can take are the Zendocrine soft gels and the Zendocrine oil. Um, yeah. Capsules, these are the veggie caps, aren't they? So these are empty capsules that you can put yeah. the oils in and it's a very good way of taking them internally. Exactly. And when we're talking about taking oils internally, we're only talking about doTERRA's oils, of course, because of the, the testing of them, the quality of them, the purity, the potency. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would uh, not uh, recommend um, any other oil um, where you don't know where it's coming from uh, to take internally. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, uh, and uh, doTERRA is also not every oil you can take internally. Yeah. Um, so so uh, this is very, very important for people to know uh, and not just think you can take every oil internally. You always have to um, look on the label itself. So either it will give you the supplement fat um, or uh, it will say for food flavoring. If yeah. you find that on the on the uh, bottle, then uh, you know you can take it internally as well. And you can and also look on the doTERRA website as well, can't you? Because it will tell you for yeah. each product. Yeah. Um, also impo very important for autoimmune diseases or in general um, inflammation and pain uh, and uh, things like um, nervous system, uh, system um, is our products we are using so in in our household so what i then done i i uh, chucked away all those cleaning products and all those my my body products um because laundry detergent things like that 
they all contain those synthetics and chemicals uh, which will disrupt our body and will give us inflammation and the bad to toxins in our body and system. And that is actually making us ill. So you've got to, um, if you really want to change your well, you've got to change your lifestyle as well, including getting rid of all those toxins and uh, harsh materials uh, which harm our body. You know, this is such an important point because people don't realise that everything that they sort of spray in the shower to clean it, you know, a lot of women clean the shower whilst they're actually standing in it and then all those toxins are getting absorbed through the pores of the feet into yeah. the bloodstream. Yeah. Everything that you put on your body gets absorbed into the bloodstream. Everything that you wash your hair with gets absorbed. Uh, so we have to be conscious of every single thing that we're actually using and read the ingredients, don't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. And then also, of course, there, there are some uh, things which we can't get out of our life if it's in the atmosphere, for example. Um, but then we have at least some tools available, like also on guard, uh, the on guard spray, for example, um, is where is a very good way of uh, protecting yourself a little bit from all the toxins which you are exposed to outside your home. Um, and uh, and also on guard uh, anyway, uh, the hand wash, for example, or also the toothpaste, uh, which helps your mouse um, health, which is also very important. Yeah, the on guard. So so uh, what I uh, did uh, so far was the on guard in a glass of water, and also after brushing my teeth uh, with the on guard uh, toothpaste also to gargle with that on guard because the, or use the on guard uh, sub, supplements, exactly the soft shields. Um, it's so important also the, the mouse hairs. So a lot of conditions come from your mouth, mouse. When, when your hygiene in the mouse is not, is, if there's something wrong here in your mouse, it uh, will also um, give you uh, some conditions inflammations and go in your gut and uh, so you've got to make sure that also your mouse health is um is up um up for good oh that's brilliant yeah and and these are the products so the on guard comes in soft gels you can get it as an oil you can get it as beetles a uh, spray there's many many different applications for that and of course uh when we were at the convention in dusseldorf there was the uh the medical family there and one of them is his mother's um a dentist and he's doing uh studying to be a dentist and he did trials and on guard toothpaste yeah. versus a normal fluoride toothpaste mm. and uh, didn't he say that the on guard toothpaste after just uh, four days of use um was shown to kill all the bacteria in the mouth and to help yeah. to uh, replenish the good healthy absolutely oh. and uh, and I actually liked that uh, that uh, family. Uh, they were brilliant and they did uh, so much um, studies and showed uh, evidence that those oils are really truly working. And, um, and, and well, you've got to supplements, we've got to start with supplements because um, you need that foundation in your body. Um, and of course, you've got to change your lifestyle as well. So, you need to make sure eat right as as the doTERRA pyramid anyway eat right sleep right so there comes serenity and vetiver i'm using those for uh, on, on the bottom of my feet um or as the soft shield so the serenity helps with sleep together with the or or as you show here the uh, serenity capsules um but for me uh, like a dream works the serenity oil plus the vetiva so uh, a couple of drops of serenity and two drops of vetiva uh, mixed together on the bottom of the feet rub rub them in and always smell uh, and you can use that for both feet and that uh, makes me sleep like a baby which is okay, so two drops of serenity oil two drops of vetiva oil in fractionated coconut oil on the soles of each foot so you just use the two the four drops rub them in your hands rub them on your feet and that helps look like a bit and and you said that you use these soft gels as well 
Yeah. Uh, um, when would you use those? In a, would you use a, them or uh, instead of? Um, I, sometimes I use them together. Uh, depends. Uh, depends. Uh, uh, what happened to me during the day, and if I'm really uh, needing a really good sleep, uh, then I use them both. Um, the soft gels and uh, and the oil. Um, or if I just recently we came uh, from America uh, from our journey there, um, then then uh, then uh, your body clock is completely uh, different because of the time difference. So then I'm using additionally uh, the, the capsules to help with uh, getting a really good sleep as well. Oh, so you use that for like jet lag? Absolutely, and uh, and to go back, come back uh, to to this place here, uh, or um, also if I we do a lot of events um, and travel a lot and go to a lot of places, um, and uh, like yesterday I we were at the DoTerra Day yesterday in London and came only back after midnight, so then I use uh, maybe the soft gel together with the drops. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, if you needed to boost your energy, <laughs> what would you use? Is it the, the yeah. amount of max? Yes, uh, and actually I forgot. Uh, so, so what I do every day is the supplements, mm -hmm. together with the Mitomax, together also with the deep blue capsules. Oh, the, um, the, the L complex. Yeah, that mm -hmm. I do every day, together with TerraSign as the capsule. Yeah. Okay, and then um, Sendocrine in the morning and DDR Prime in the evening or the other way around, doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so okay. those I take every day and also the On Guard, um, either soft jades in the morning or the beadlets at night. So let's go through that slowly because I want to write this down so that we've got your protocol. So can you just say that again? So you take what in the morning? So so supplements, all the three supplements, a lifelong vitality pack, two in the morning and two at night of each bottle. Yeah. Along um, with the Terrazyme. Yeah, Terrazyme I take personally two times a day, so in the morning and at night, but then additionally every time I'm eating, um, I take the TerraSyme as well. So, so then, uh, for how many of those would you take, Tanya? Huh? How many um, of these would you take? One. Uh, so one in the morning, one at night, and then when I uh, in between when I'm eating, I take the TerraSyme as well. One. Yeah. Um, so then I take the Mito Two Max for the energy. Uh, only one in the morning. Um, if you take too much of them in the evening. Uh, it will not let you sleep, yeah. basically. It's, it's, too, too much energy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so only in the morning, one. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, the deep blue um, capsules in the morning and evening, one. Mm -hmm. uh, Terra time, I said already. The on guard, either I took take the on guard uh, soft shields in the morning or, mm -hmm. put, yeah, the uh, central coin as well. Yeah. Um, and uh, the on guard, I, I take the either the oil or the soft gel in the morning and the beadlets too um, in the evening and in between. So if I'm out somewhere and I feel uh, maybe a sore throat coming or I feel like a cold is coming or something, then I take the on guard uh, just, just uh, as a preventative. Yeah, because that boosts the immune system, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and what else do we... The, the serenity and lavender or um, vetiver for sleep at night. Yeah. And then yes. the endocrine um, capsules or the oil, you said that you would take... Do you take them on a daily basis, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what I do, I do um, vary them. So... The sendocrine, either I take the sendocrine um, in the morning, yeah. then I take the DDR prime in the evening, or the other way around. Right, okay, so this is the DDR prime. Now, yeah. what's the DDR prime doing? Well, the uh, DDR prime is um, 
is uh, good for your um, inf inflammatory response, but also it detoxes and it helps uh, to balance your body, but also it protects your cells. Uh, so, so it's um, uh, it's uh, it's protecting your cells. Uh, with, with there's a word for it, uh, which I can't think of right now. Um, oxidative uh, stress. Oh yeah, reduces oxidative stress. Yeah, uh, and uh, and also the endocrine, of course, is uh, detox um, on a daily basis. Yeah, uh, and that's what what I'm doing to protect also our cells. Um, with the DDR Prime. Yeah, and the DDR Prime, um, you know, when I um, read up about this, it's sort of working at a cellular level to That's what I meant, yeah. DNA, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. It uh, basically, it protects your DNA because every everything what we get in our body, if that is medicines or smells or situations or anything, we breathe things in, um, gets to our cells and um, can alter um, those cells. So the DDR prime helps to protect our DNA from that damage in our DNA. Yeah, so, so, those, uh, so I, I know it sounds a lot of uh, supplements, but uh, if you have autoimmune disease or any other um, condition with a lot of inflammation and uh, not sleeping good or brain fog and IBS, which I had with the fibromyalgia, then you, you literally need to flood your body with the supplements and oils uh, to flush that out and to protect yourself. Now, did and, you change your diet alongside doing this? Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't actually change my diet, but I, uh, I'm, not, um, I'm not doing dairy, so I'm using coconut milk. I eat a lot of green uh, vegetables and fruit, of yeah. course. Uh, plant-based as much as possible um, and um, I don't eat meat or very very rarely eat meat uh, only when I know where the source comes from yeah um, I um, so, so I didn't change anything of my diet but I realized also through the supplementation um, I naturally uh, lost weight as well okay because it, it helps you um, to, to kick in your metabolism yeah, um, and helps you to digest everything properly or much better. And uh, that's why um, I lost uh, weight as well. So everything, uh, my energy went up, my IBS was gone, my brain fog is gone, uh, the pain level is down. There's very rarely that I have so much pain that I had to, hardly can't stand it anymore. You know, um, once, well, I do get in between um, there and there a pain, but then I use the oils and also to diffuse to, to help myself. So I just want to come back to where you were in the beginning because you said at the beginning your husband was caring for you, you were in a wheelchair, yeah. in a lot of pain, not energy. How long did it take once you'd started this protocol to start feeling better? Well, uh, believe it or not, after for the first two weeks of taking the supplements, I felt already. Um, an energy um, boost and pain levels were not gone yet, but down, much down. Um, so already in the first two weeks, I already experienced the difference uh, in my body. Oh, wow, and, that's really quick. Yeah, that was uh, very, very quick. And, and uh, interestingly is some people say to me when, when they're taking their supplements, um, they don't, they, some of them, they say they don't feel a difference. Um, but listen to your body because I feel it, extremely feel it, when I don't take the supplements, then suddenly I feel, oh, my, my body gets a little bit sluggish and things. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, the supplements will definitely change, uh, change your, your body. Um, it doesn't mean that um, some people, they feel it right away. Some people, it uh, takes a little bit longer. But uh, what I can tell you, is good to support your body with those supplements because through food alone, we cannot, um, you ca we cannot get the right nutrition in our body. Yeah. The soil is depleted and yeah. we ought to have an outside source to supplement, to give the right nutrition. There is no other ways. And 
and doTERRA's products are clean, they are pure, there is no nothing, no alterations, no toxins, no GMO, no nothing in there. And the plant that you start this so the body can recognize it as real food. Exactly. Because there's a lot of supplements that are actually synthetic and so the body's not actually yeah. recognizing it. Yeah, and uh, now I'm saying something and I have to be very careful uh, because, uh, of course, you've got to uh, stay uh, compliant, of course. But um, some companies, uh, also with supplements, um, they, they tell you they are pure or natural or organic or whatever. When, when they get tested, they are not. Yeah. Very many companies, they are alterated and... Um, but something completely different what's actually on the label. So here those supplements are whole food based and also essential oil based, which is pure and our body can recognize that as because we, we have the same system as the plants anyway. Yeah. And yeah. Well, one of the things that I recommend people do when they start taking the supplements is before they start to look at the indicators on a scale of 1 to 10. So it might be the pain on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad it is, with 10 being the worst and 1 being the least. With brain fog, how bad is it? Uh, you know, and to look at all these different indicators. Uh, because what can happen is as you start to introduce good quality supplements into your diet, it can get a gradual improvement and then you forget what you were like at the beginning. And then if you stop taking them, you go back to how you were, then you realize what it was actually doing. That's a good idea, um, Deborah. That's a really good idea to keep track. Maybe you have a, have a journal and every time you try something out new, um, so, so if it's an oil or a supplement uh, with doTERRA or, or anything, maybe make a note for yourself and see what's happening yeah. um, so you can see the progress of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. And I also suggest that they also keep a journal as to the emotions that are going on in the body as well, because like they say that uh, ev the root cause of every illness has an emotional component to it. And if you can work with the emotion and release it, that, that is giving your body a message to take note of something that's not been dealt with. It might have been suppressed. So deal with the underlying emotions. Exactly. Look at the food that you're eating. It's like a whole system, not just looking at supplements or diet. We're looking at the whole body as, um, you know, not in isolation with anything else. Yeah, uh, doTERRA is uh, not about just the oils, as you said, or supplements. It's a, whole, it's a change of lifestyle. Yeah, um, it's a, it's a, for your own. We we have to take responsibility for our own uh, body um, because I say that again very carefully. Um, the NHS and um, the pharmaceutical um, will not help you um, as it should be. Um, what I'm saying is, um, not every doctor is on that side, but there are still some uh, really good doctors who know what they are talking about. But mm -hmm. doctors today don't learn anymore about natural um, ingredients. Yeah, the plant-based medicine. They don't learn that anymore. All they learn today is, ah, okay, you have diabetes or you have this, you get this and this medication. But our body is not designed to take in... Um, um, medication which are synthetically done um, and not the natural, actually the natural plant-based material. Yeah, and okay. I'm actually really shocked as well to find out that in the whole of the training to become a doctor, they only get seven hours training in nutrition. Yeah. And so they don't understand the link between the food that you're eating and the illness or, or your return to health. Yeah. Because the... Um, you know, it was Hippocrates, you know, the father of medicine said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Absolutely. And we need Absolutely. to get back to that. Yeah. And in general, uh, even uh, we got to go back to, to Mother uh, Earth anyway. Yeah. Uh, to, because we have a very, very similar system like the plants. Yeah. We need nutrition. We need water. We, we need sunshine. Um, we need the right food. Yeah. Same with the plants. You know, so we are part of the plant 
kingdom, if you like, they have the same system. Yeah. And so that's, of course, synthetic things. Our body doesn't recognize that as their, as, as the food or the medication or medicine uh, like the plants do. Wonderful. Is there anything that we haven't covered uh, that you think that we need to cover that's relevant to what we've talked about in terms of your protocol? Well, uh, I, um, let me just say, um, uh, any oil that you take, um, play around with it because what uh, some oils which may, may help me may not help other people because everybody's different. Um, so I uh, urge you to try out certain things and one, once you have found uh, your right oil or, or remedy or um, supplement which works for you, then of course stick with it. Um, but um, what I'm urging you also to just try out because every oil has help for the physical and for the emotional body, no matter which oil you're taking. Yeah. Um, so even if you, you close close your eyes and you have a box in front of you and you just go in and take one oil out, um, you will do something good for your body in general. Okay. And use the three different ways of using the oils. The smell is so powerful um, with breathing in and with uh, diffusing. Um, and, um, and of course, topically as well. And, and the ones with the label on it for food flavoring also internally is a very powerful way of protecting our body. Yeah. Um, what, one of the things that, uh, that you mentioned earlier was about the frankincense and copaiba. Now, these are very interesting oils, very high vibration oils. And um, I, I know that the copaiba, there's a lot of talk at the moment about CBD oil. And copaiba has more cannabinoids in it than the CBD oil. And the frankincense is the purest and the best quality that you can actually get on the planet it's uh, well, these two together are really supporting cellular support one of them works from the inside the cell out and the other one works from the outside in so these are fantastic companion oils aren't they absolutely and i take uh, cobaiba one drop in the morning under my tongue and also the frankincense one drop um well um I, for me, Kobaiba, I don't mind. The frankincense has a very strong taste. Uh, some people may not uh, like the taste. So then, but we have the veggie cups. Uh, so you can, even if, if you feel that it's too strong, that taste, put it in a capsule and take it internally. Yeah, it's too yeah. strong for me to take internally. The Kobaiba I'm fine with, a drop under the tongue, but the frankincense is too strong for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. but I, I do it right now. I do it uh, just under the tongue and uh, then drink some, something uh, good afterwards or something, you know. Uh, but uh, yes, the frankincense, uh, frankincense also has a frequency of 178 megahertz. We have, we, um, we have frequency in our body. And if somebody is an average healthy person, um, has an average of 68 um, frequency megahertz. If somebody is very ill or, well, uh, things like big C uh, or something like that, um, is 25 megahertz. The frankincense has 178 um, frequency in there, which means it's, it's about three times as high as an average healthy um, body mm. okay so and then you can understand if you look at from this angle you can understand that frankincense is able to literally wipe out any frequency or a lower frequency and an illness has always an, a lower frequency yeah, and, and I know you do the aura photography, don't you? I had uh, my aura photography done last June at, when I was at the monastery in Manchester, and uh, my aura was green uh, as a you know without any oils, and then one drop of frankincense, and it changed it to uh, to like a golden colour immediately. 
And the man who was doing the aura photography said, this is really interesting. He said, as a scientist, it's, I've never done this with oils before. It's interesting to see how it's changing your energy field instantly, raising your vibration Absolutely. and supporting you in the work that you're doing. Yeah, and that's, that's what we do as well with our aura camera as well. We do take before and, and after pictures. Yeah, so it's great because you've got physical, physical proof there of what the oils are doing. And some people need that physical proof. Absolutely, and we can uh, show that any type of healing, uh, sound or, or essential oils or crystals or whatever is, it is or might be, holistic, Reiki, what, whatever it is, you can see the difference. And, um, and yeah, if you see that, of course, then you understand, yes, uh, you can see uh, the oils are working or the sound is working or the healing is working. Yeah. So I just want to close up by saying at the beginning, you talked about how you're in a wheelchair, how you're unable to work, how your husband yeah. was a full-time carer. Um, how long ago is that now, Tonya? Um, well, uh, that was in 2016 or 2000, end of 2015. Uh, and uh, I started uh, using the oils in 2016 in January, the oils. And, just, over, uh, just over three years. So where are you now in terms of your health? Well, uh, I don't need any wheelchair or stick or anything. I got my energy back. I can stay awake again. Um, pain levels are down. IBS is gone. Brain fog is gone. Um, so, so I have a complete different um, lifestyle now. Uh, and uh, I'm not... Um, I, I don't have to uh, rely on my husband now to help me with everything because I can do the things alone now. You're self-sufficient. Yeah, exa exactly. So, um, so it's completely changed uh, my everything. That's everything. amazing. Yeah, so, uh, so there is, um, uh, of course, I have the one or other times you, you have another pain coming. So then I take my, one of the oils and, and help me and... Um, use it you know uh, but it's nothing like it was before i couldn't well life just passed by you know and now i i got my life back if you like now you're doing doTERRA as a business and sharing these oils with other yeah. people is that, is that because um of your own experience uh no there are several several reasons why i'm doing this as a business now um one because i saw myself on my own and also on my husband, how it has helped me. Number two, I want to bring out to the world, I want to help people, That's, I love people, and I want to bring this out to the world, that we need to go back to nature, uh, connect with nature. Uh, and number three, I want to also empower people that there are uh, alternatives out there, um, right in front of our eyes. And so I'm teaching people how to use the oils um, and how uh, to use the different protocols as well. So basically I'm not prescribing, okay, but uh, because of my background in the pharmacy as well, um, I know how the body works and I know how the oils are working and I know some, some, some of the plants, how they, they work. Um, and so I, the knowledge is just lost because when we were young or my grandmom or great grandmom or uh, when we were little, we were going and we were collecting things outside in nature and using uh, picking berries or mushrooms or, you know, once you know which are the right ones and you can identify what is what and you use it for health reasons. You know, they used to do that thousands of years ago. Yeah. My people... Um, Native American people, uh, Aboriginal people, we use that thousands of years, but that knowledge is lost. Yeah. And uh, so I'm here of one teaching people how to use what in a certain uh, health condition, and how you can support your body and your life and and help yourself, and two to reconnect with Mother Earth, which is so important to uh, to do because of all the external uh, toxins coming towards us, we can only help us with this when we connect with Mother Earth. 
Yeah. And the thing for me is that it's like bringing ancient wisdom back to modern times, you know, this lost wisdom, which has been suppressed as well. So it's fantastic that, um, you know, it's one of the reasons why I started the Essential Oil Show as well, so that people can learn different aspects about using oils in different ways. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your protocols and your story with us today. You know, I just yeah. think it can help so many people. Um, and for anybody who's watching or listening in, um, at doTERRA, you know, we have um, different ways that you can buy the oils. You can either pay retail price for them or we can help you to set up wholesale accounts so that you're getting wholesale pricing, so 25% off retail. Um, if, uh, if you know Tonya, go to Tonya. If you know me, come to me. We've got a very ethical business practice in, in doTERRA. And, you know, whoever has introduced you to the oils, go to them for support. So if somebody else sent you a link for this and, you know, you're in a, a different group, go to them. You know, we're, we're not sort of um, trying to poach anybody. And um, we just want people to know this information and to get the support that they need. Yeah, and uh, maybe if I can uh, say also, um, of course, we, uh, we are working together and uh, everybody uh, is, is the same like you go to some fair or something and you may want a healing or reading or wh- whatever you feel feel comfortable where you go you feel go with your gut feeling yeah. of feeling where you want to go uh, if you want to go to deborah then uh, connect with her and she can help you to um uh make your own uh, account to get wholesale prices for example for the oils or come to me as well and i can give you my link as well if you want to mm-hmm. so you find me on facebook tonya haunting wolf um and uh, then my link is uh my I'll put, I'll put i'll put the links in the description so people can click on the description and then they'll find the link so they can just click on it it'll be easier right uh, but i wanted to uh, give the doTERRA link that's what okay. i meant yeah yeah um so so uh, if you if you want to connect with me uh, with doTERRA uh, or or want uh, to me looking after you then it's uh, my doTERRA.com forward slash and then sacred earth essentials okay right. yeah sacred earth essentials uh that's that's then my link um or connect uh, through me to face facebook uh on on my name i have also a facebook page uh, this teaching uh, about the oils as well and um or if you of course connect with deborah whoever you feel comfortable going going um and uh, one thing i want to show you uh, tell you as well um, if you decide to come to my team, join my team, you will get me for life as well. Because it's for me, it's not just about uh, bringing those products to you. Um, no, so for me, it's not so much about the sales itself. Mm-hmm. It's more about helping and continually helping, connecting, and also teaching you ongoing teaching. Um, uh, later on as well so i want to build a relationship with you to help you on your journey and no matter what your reasons is for for wanting to change your lifestyle um i am there with you helping you to go through that okay yeah. Th- this is one of the reasons why we encourage you to set up a wholesale account because if you pay if you just like buying at retail price you don't get all that ongoing support and education the same as if you've got a wholesale account we really want to empower you to learn about oils and to find different ways of using them because there's so many different ways yeah Tony thank you so much and uh, to those of you listening in or watching uh, we wish you well in your journey to wholeness and um, just blessings to you all Thank you, Deborah, and thank you for inviting me as well. Thank you very much, Tonya. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Lots of love. Bye.